there. Today I thought I would talk to you about some things I picked up from a store called Five Below. If you've never heard of them, they're a little bit like a cross between a dollar store and like a dollar general. So everything is five dollars or less. And I found um, it was very neatly organized. It had a good range of items um, that are different than what you find at like a dollar general. So they had some really nice headphones, they had books, they had phone cases, they had t-shirts, they had makeup, they had housewares, they had candy and some refrigerated drinks kind of items. So it's a little bit like a posh version of the dollar store. If you can imagine everything being $5 left being posh. So I'll show you some pictures and then I'll show you what I happened to buy. First off, I got this headband for $3. I'm thinking maybe I'll use it for a Halloween costume as a flapper or something. It's elastic and it's got flowers and lace. Um, it stays on my head sort of, but it kind of slips up at the same time. And I think maybe it needs to be flat ironed a little, but for $3, it's a pretty good deal. I also got a grown-up, a grown-up coloring book. This is called Zentangle and it was four dollars and it kind of teaches you how to draw different patterns and designs um, so it's kind of a neat hobby entertainment kind of thing to do so I'm excited to try that out they also had some really awesome cookbooks for five dollars which I was strong and I didn't buy so good for me they also had some Halloween items, being that it's coming to be that Halloween season. Um, I got a cute Darth Vader shirt for five bucks, and they had Ghostbuster shirts and Nightmare Before Christmas shirts, and a lot of really neat things. I also picked up some hair chalk. Um, this is called Vixen Hair Graffiti, and it has 12 um, types in here. And I tried it out and I have dark brown hair, so not the best, but basically what you do is you wet your hair or you wet the piece of chalk and then you rub it um, downwards on your hair and it kind of shows up um, whatever color it is. Um, if you're blonde, then it works much better, but it shows up a little bit for brown and it washes out. So that's pretty good. Um, I also got some Halloween makeup, um, which I was not that impressed with. Um, I found the eyelashes were okay, the lipstick that came in this little vampire kit were kind of a sheer red lipstick, and the fangs didn't come with any glue. So how are you supposed to put it in if you don't have glue? So I'm going to have to pick up some... Um, denture glue from the pharmacy or maybe um, something else I can find at a costume store. We'll see. But uh, overall I really liked the store. It was very cute. The employee was friendly. It was well organized. Uh, the reason I went was I saw another YouTuber do a review of an eyeshadow palette which is supposed to be awesome um, by Beauty Treats. And I couldn't find it at Five Below, and I couldn't find it at Walmart, which is also supposed to sell that brand, um, a, a palette of eyeshadow for $2. So I'm still on the lookout for that. They did have perfume and other eyeshadows and a good selection of Wet n Wild. Um, their Wet n Wild was like 10 cents more than Walmart, so, you know, a dollar to a dollar ten for lipstick, still not bad. So. If there's one in your neighborhood, definitely check it out. Another item I got were some metallic jewelry tattoos. These were actually my favorite item and were only a dollar. And they stayed on um, after washing my hands for like five or six times. So pretty good adhesive and some really neat designs. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.